We're going to Sydney, guys. beautiful sisters from those other misters welcome back to my channel it's cold it's cold in here Melbourne is cooling down the dog just ran inside and left me here on my own she's going to go back to bed I thought I would sit down with you today and show you what is in oh it's a it's a big heavy suitcase next to me that I can't really can't pick up I recently went to the Priceline Beauty Prescription Live with Kat and Simon, and they sent us home with a suitcase full of goodies. I did intend on turning the trip into a vlog, and I did take some footage sort of like getting there and a little bit while I was there, but um, while I was there, it was so oh, like hectic and chaotic, but in a really good way. Um, it's been quite a few years since we've been able to attend a beauty prescription live or since I've even had it on because of COVID obviously. This is the first one back and um, I missed it. I missed it. It was so much fun. I got to see so many people that I haven't seen for years and um, it was look it was just easier to enjoy the moment and be in the present with everyone there little bit of background the priceline beauty prescription live is essentially um, an event that they hold twice a year and they feature products that have released in the last six months or going to be released in the near future of like the next six months i have a suitcase full of products it is an extremely generous event and it probably is up there with like one of my favorites because the types of products that you get come from such a, a diverse uh, range of brands. You just get to try so much basically and you kind of uh, get a little bit of insight on the new products that brands are releasing and sometimes the brands even share other information about other stuff that is coming up which is very fun to hear without further ado let's get into the products um there was a couple there was two things that was sort of uh like it just felt like a running theme for um this particular time around with a beauty prescription live and that was consumable collagen and eye products. So I'm actually gonna start with the consumable collagen because look, I am quite excited about this. I'm very excited about the eye stuff as well. So let's get into it. This one's from Vital Proteins. It's a collagen peptides. This is, um, it uses bovine uh, collagen. So it is not vegan friendly. The next one is from Dose & Co. This again is um, pure, unflavored collagen i really like their packaging as well it's um it's quite cute and it's just like a you know a little it's like you can put it with your coffee basically what was cool about both of these brands is they had um creamer versions so there was one oh now my brain i'm gonna have to think hard about this this brand i'm pretty sure had a uh vanilla one and there was something else that caught my eye and this one had a vanilla and maybe a coconut that caught my eye so they're creamers that you can add to your coffee or something else that you want to add a creaming effect to but they also contain collagen which is awesome i really like collagen products i don't know if i see an absolute massive difference in taking them i think i'm more feel the difference and I think I think a lot of people might be able to relate to that my joints feel better uh, especially during and after a ballet class so things like this um, I take them more as like a health and well-being kind of thing rather than beauty related but I know people do um, 
like they're supposed to help support healthy skin as well and people do report that they have really good results with stuff like this so i'm totally keen to use these very excited i am totally stocked up on um collagen for quite some time uh and this one is another um collagen type product it is a collagen booster so this is actually a product that you can use along with a product like this that is supposed to help aid the absorption of your collagen at the show they had made these little like protein balls with this powder some collagen powder and some other things like uh i think it was like dates and nuts and stuff like that basically like this doesn't contain collagen it is just designed to make sure that you're getting all of the other things that you need so that your body can properly absorb and get the best out of the collagen because if you didn't know this there are some vitamins and minerals that your body needs other vitamins and minerals to help absorb them properly so that's what this product is designed to do and i think it's a fantastic idea at the moment there is definitely a trend going on with collagen products i did see a Sorry, I have a dog hair stuck on my nose. Is anyone surprised? Um, I did see a liquid collagen shot, like individual shots, and I think they were from, oh, my brain. I think it was Dr. Lewin's, maybe. Um, I didn't grab one though. I should have picked one up. So I think there's definitely, you know, a, a bit of a trend going on with collagen products, and I think it's smart for brands to bring out supporting products as well. The next trend was eye creams, as I mentioned, and there were quite a few brands doing them. I think the one that I'm most excited about is this one. This is from uh, Jojoba Company. It's the Transformative Eye Serum, and it says it contains Instatite and Firming Eye Peptides, both trademarked ingredients. And this is supposed to basically tighten your skin instantly, visually, um, and you can like put makeup over the top of it and all that jazz. Now we have seen, if you've been around for a while and you're really into the beauty industry and new technology and stuff like this, years and these dog hairs, man, they're like migrating down my face. I'm sorry guys. Years and years ago, there was a product that claimed to like instantly you put it on you pat it on the skin anywhere that you had lines or like fine lines and it would instantly like tighten the skin and it did work but essentially what it was doing was creating this film over your skin that like pulls the skin tight and um it could be quite difficult to put makeup over those products and still have it look good and not like ball up or get weird or chunky uh this is not supposed to it's supposed to give you the results of tightening the skin but be perfect for applying makeup over the top and i have tried this out and it goes on the skin like water it is super super smooth and thin and oh, also can we talk about this dropper so it's got um like a ball applicator so you can you know pop it on your eyes it's a cooling rollerball type thing but it's also a dropper but the formula of this is really thin it's not sticky it's easy like easily absorbed by the skin i am very intrigued to use this further and explore it i am definitely feeling and noticing the effects of age around my eyes it has quickly become become one of my pain points um so you know <laughs> when i saw that there was like 25 million eye creams at the beauty prescription live i was like yes yes surely something has got to work the next one is from freeze frame this is a non-surgical eyelid lift so it is an upper eyelid lifting ser serum anti-drooping and anti-sag. So here's what it looks like. Um, the claims are quite drastic on the back of the box. It shows a very drastic picture, um, but I will, I'll give it a go for sure. And look, most of this stuff I haven't even had time to dig into. There was just a few items that were really like, 
in the forefront of my mind that I wanted to try out. So I've been, you know, cracking them open. This one here is from Boost Lab. I haven't heard of this brand before. Um, they are new to me. This is a bioactive eye resets, reset serum. So it is for dark circles, wrinkles and lines, and puffy eye bags. Many, many apologies to the the brand rep who was there, potentially brand owner. I grabbed one of the bottles of something and I cracked it open and like tested it on the back of my hand. And after I'd opened it, I was like, holy crap, that was a sealed bottle and that was extremely rude. So I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I clearly have no manners. I left them at home. The last eye cream I have here is from Bondi Sands. It's the Eye Spy Brightening Eye Cream. Now this contains vitamin C and green coffee beans. I don't know if I'll be able to use this. I have mentioned before I am very sensitive to vitamin C so I will use this with caution. Bondi Sands actually really caught my eye. The stand uh, was super cute and the packaging of this stuff sucked me right in. I just, I really liked the the simple theme that they'd gone with, like the sort of white packaging with a color accent um, and each like different product had a different color and it was just like, I just found it very enticing. I wanted to touch everything. I wanted to like go to the shop and buy some. So I, uh, I did see a couple of products that I would potentially be interested in trying out. Let's touch on the body category really quickly because I've only got a couple of items. This one here is from Walida. It is the Skin Food Body Lotion. I really like um, the Skin Food uh, like balm that they make. I would use that on my feet when my eczema was playing up and it was sometimes a lifesaver. Um, so I'm interested in trying this. It's deeply nourishing and intensive moisturization for dry to very dry skin, sometimes me. And it does smell like skin food. So if you've ever tried skin food, that's what it smells like. Let's check out the texture actually. I'm, I'm kind of curious. We, oh yeah, it's a bit thick. Not so thick that you can't squeeze it out though, which is nice. Oh yeah. Actually, it feels quite, quite good. I feel like that's a good texture for body lotion. And it's not, um, it doesn't make the skin look greasy. It doesn't feel slippy. It just feels nice and hydrating. Whereas skin food is quite balmy. Um, so, you know, if you're putting that on, it's going to give the, the skin some shine. Whereas, as you can see, this just looks like normal skin. So that's great. I will definitely use that. And another brand that I was introduced to is Anihana. Am I saying that right? They're a New Zealand uh, company and they basically make, um, should we call it like pampering products? So things like bath bombs. I haven't got my phone here, but I feel like they had like shower bars and stuff like that as well. Um, I feel like they had a shower bomb. So this is a bath bomb, which they have given us. Um, and I feel like they also had one that was designed to be like put in the bottom of your shower. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells like strawberry. Is that right? Raspberry marshmallow. Can I eat it? The bits on top always make me feel like I want to eat it, like cupcakes. Everyone loves a bit of a pamper moment every now and then. I think a, a company like this, you know, would be well received. Their packaging is really cute and everything looks like candy. So don't let your kids get too close to it if you buy some. Let's move on to hair products, which I actually have more than I realized. Um, and I have a lot more like makeup-y items than I realized. Uh, not makeup. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll get to that. Let's do hair. There is something that I want to touch on first. I don't have like a, a dedicated product like I do from some other brands. Um, but this company was taking details for people who would like product um, and giving out little hair hair towel wraps, uh, which is handy. I will definitely use it. This is from a brand called Good Dye Young. So the dye is D-Y-E, like you would dye your hair. Um, 
and they essentially have hair dyes and they are very bright and very very colorful hair dyes they had a great range of shades which was awesome to see and i think i will double check this sorry editing Haley. i don't have my phone here um i believe they were vegan uh some other products that i got i have to mention the ordinary so the ordinary have recently brought out or released um hair cleansing products and or is it a hair cleansing product a conditioning product and this guy i think that's correct now i can't use the cleansing product because it contains sulfates now i'm not against sulfates i don't have a problem with them if i did not have colored hair i would use sulfates it's not an issue at all i i try to keep this color in my hair for as long as i can because she's expensive anyway they did send us home with a product this is the natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid and it is designed for the scalp so it is a lightweight hydrating serum for the scalp um last year some of you would have been here when i just cried and cried and cried and cried and cried about my dry scalp that i just could not sort out i don't know if it's gonna get dry again but it might and uh i'll be ready i'll be ready i have a whole arsenal of products ready to go um and now i also have this so this is actually um what i would look for in a product like this it is it looks a bit milky uh but it has a consistency of water this will run right off me um and that's that's great if you are putting a product on your scalp after you've washed it or when it's already dry and you're just trying to get a little bit of hydration in there you need the product to offer hydration but also uh not be super heavy and basically the hair has to be able to absorb it so it doesn't get heavy and greasy looking so i will definitely try this out regardless of whether my scalp gets dry or not because i do want to see how the hair copes with it being on um and yeah i'm I'm keen to try it. I do have a shampoo here. It is from Shea Moisture, which we all know and I think has become a very well respected brand in Priceline. It's a coconut and hibiscus curl and shine shampoo with silk proteins and neem oil. Now, does it contain. Oh, it doesn't look like it contains sulfates, which is great. Oh, yeah, sulfate free and color safe, which is fantastic. Now, I need to smell it because uh, that's you know the next way you win my heart oh can i drink it i'm really looking forward to trying this out i hope that uh my hair loves it it does say it helps to cleanse and hydrate thick and curly hair i oh i nearly threw it on the ground um i have quite fine hair but like you know i've got also extensions so i like something that is quite hydrating i'll see how i go with it i can all i can do is try it and see how we go oh i have another shea moisture product this is the papaya and neroli with elderflower oh i can't wait to smell this uh all day can wait all day frizz control milk gel oh it's uh, it's a lot fresher than i expected it's citrusy i can smell the elderflower oh yeah that's really nice okay well there we go um and the scent on this like i feel like the uh shea moisture shampoos they're you know they've got quite a punchy scent whereas the leave-in product is um it's quite subtle so i don't think you'd be like overwhelmed with scent if you put it in your hair i would definitely try this out i think this would go well on um my extensions because they can hold quite a bit of product uh the next product that i have here is from a brand called daily naturals now these guys their packaging i really liked their packaging um it had a really funky 70s vibe and not in like a weird tacky way i'm seeing a lot of 70s stuff um and i feel like we see it we have been seeing it every year for like the past three or four maybe even five years um 70s stuff seems to be coming back like they're trying to bring back 70s fashion and all this stuff leave the fashion 
or just do it well um but bring back the aesthetic like the packaging and you know the homewares and stuff like that um their range felt 70s to me but it was like a nod done in a very classic but funky way i i really like it anyway this is the ENZ Sealer, it's a leave-in treatment, helps to smooth condition and eliminate frizz, which is awesome. Um, it's vegan and cruelty free, it's color and UV, uh, color UV and heat protective. So it's one of those bottles where you just like twist it open, it opens a little squeezer. Let's, let's see what it's like, let's do it. Oh, it's cream, it's creamy. Oh, it smells like salon, it does. It smells like something you would find in a hair salon. So it's a little bit, um, it does feel a little bit balmy, but as it's warming up, it also feels like it's, um, like it's thinning out a bit. The last hair product that I have is from a brand called Naughty. These guys are new to me as well. This is the Thirst Aid Conditioning and Detangling Spray. So it's for dry and damaged hair and it has sweet almond and argan oil in it. Uh, no parabens, petrochemicals, sulfates, silicones. It's cruelty free and vegan friendly. Um, we've got to do it. I have a thing about hair products and their scents. Oh, nice. I can smell that like almondy scent in there. I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, I don't use detangling sprays as much as I used to. Uh, I usually just reach for an oil, probably because it's what I have the most of and like the simplicity of it, but I would definitely give this guy a go. Okay, let's do some skin stuff. Um, I do have something here from Elizabeth Arden. This is a classic product. It is the 8 hour cream. You can really use this for anything. You can use this on like damaged skin. You can use it as like a nipple balm if you're breastfeeding, as a lip balm. Um, if you have any sort of like, you know, dry, irritated skin, this is literally a like a, a balm product. I used to use this, say it with me if you can guess, on my feet when my eczema was really playing up and I found it to be quite soothing. Um, it, was, it was good for eczema itch um, and also good if like my skin had become so bad that it had cracked essentially and as you can imagine that's quite painful um, so I really like this product they also have this in like a spray oil which I have a bottle of it inside and again it's fantastic what I like to do with that is actually tip some into moisturizers that aren't quite um, nourishing enough in winter. Oh, another brand that I am not familiar with. Uh, this is Cinch. So this is the Sleep and Glow 5-in-1 Overnight Booster Mask. It contains hyaluronate, pawpaw, and pine pineapple enzymes. So it is designed to cleanse, exfoliate, hydrate, and smooth the appearance of fine lines all while you're sleeping. That is big claims. So this was demonstrated to us at um, the Beauty Prescription Live and it definitely does make the skin look very, very glowy. Like, look, look at that. There is some like micro shimmer in there from what I can tell, but it is super, super smooth. You know what I wanna do with this? I know this is not how it's intended, but I might do it anyway. I want to put this on my legs and wear this when I'm like going out. Look at how glowy and gorgeous that skin looks without being like shimmery or glittery. I've discussed my gripes about that with like glowy, broad, glowy body products before. I will try it on my face, of course, but also... I want to try it on my legs. I'm just saying. I don't know if they actually have a body product in their range. Um, I can't recall seeing one. I think they only had skincare product. But if they don't have body products, maybe, maybe they should. I have another product here from Hohoba Company. So they gave us two items. This is the probiotic Hohoba milk. So I believe it's meant to be like a serumy 
prior to moisturizing. Yeah, so it's a serum product. So, oh, you can, for added radiance, layer on top of your makeup. So you could use it as like a, a highlighter, they're saying. Okay. Um, and you can use it morning and night. Now, this is supposed to hydrate and soften the skin, balance the skin microbiome, and vis visibly reduces redness. That would be the one thing that I'm, okay, hydration, yes, please. Have we met? Visibly dealing with redness, I'm, I'm all for it. That's what the front of the bottle looks like. Um, I like the packaging. I actually think it's quite cute. I am going to, I'm going to check out this. Oh, okay. Oh, it's very, it's quite uh, fluid. Oh yeah, it smells like um, slight lavender, very slight lavender, I think. Also, I feel like I'm smelling um, Elizabeth Arden still, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, it's very, very thin. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels good on the skin, so you know, that's, that's a plus. Another serum that I got, and I actually, I got this for my mum because I think she will love it. Um, it is from Strivectin. This is the multi-action Super C Retinol product. So it brightens and corrects with vitamin C serum and it also contains um, a retinol derivative, I believe it was. So mum is... Oh, what? <gasps> what? This is super clever. I love this. Um, packaging the stopper separately means that there's no, like, it's not um, having any sort of like access to air or anything seeping into the stopper while it's still in the box. It's keeping it beautiful and fresh. I think that's really smart. Major, major props to them for doing that. Um, the reason why I won't use this on myself is because I am literally terrified of vitamin C serums. Last time I used one, it was, it was a bad time and it took me a long time to recover. I think like I'm quite sensitive to them. I have quite a bad reaction, but my mum will love this. So that one is for Mumsy. Um, from the brand number seven, we have the Line Correcting Booster Serum. This is meant to be one of their best selling products, I believe globally um, very popular in the UK so it is designed to t uh, visibly reduce deep lines and wrinkles in one week big claims number seven I'm gonna put that to the test I've got smile lines that are just like they're getting worse by the day but you know at least it means I smile um, I will definitely try this out number seven were great they let us choose the product that we wanted to try this one was definitely the most intriguing to me so I can't wait to dig into it let's open it up let me show you what it looks like inside where'd my scissors go oh and there it is looking very fancy in that pretty box um, so it appears to be an airless pump you can see a little button down here that you press and it's got a really thin applicator that's cool I look forward to trying that out and seeing what it's like from a brand called keep it simple skin this is a secret agent probiotic moisture defense moisturizer um, now this brand was I mean it's called keep it simple skin so you can probably imagine it's all about keeping it simple they had a very small range of products um, I think they had was it two or three serums, um, an eye cream, a moisturizer, potentially another product. Um, and it's designed to be used in a way where you just, you keep it simple. Like it's no stress, no dramas. You can use the serum and then put the moisturizer, moisturizer over the top. You can mix them together. You can like whatever you want to do. It's supposed to work as a whole. And, um, it's also supposed to contain um, ingredients that are very, very skin friendly for people who have, um, you know, quite reactive skin. So it's meant to be super, super gentle. This is from a brand called Proud Skin. New to me. Um, so this is <laughs> frozen over. It's a gel to ice hydrator. Um, this was pretty cool. So this contains triple action hyaluronic acid, which means 
probably, I'm assuming this, um, it's multi-molecular hyaluronic acid, so it comes in like, you know, different sizes and it can absorb um, in different, uh, to different depths of the skin. Um, this is what it looks like. The packaging is really cool. I, I really dig it. It's this very lightly frosted, um, clear packaging, pink lid. Now, this can be used, it's a gel moisturizer, and it can be used as is, just like this, or you can put it in the freezer for a short time and it slightly changes its texture and also makes it really nice and cold. I don't know how I'm gonna go putting this in the freezer and using it in winter. I'm just gonna put it out there. So if I don't do that, when I come back and update you guys on how I went with this, don't be mad at me, it's cold here in Melbourne. Um, not as cold as some other places in the world, I know, but cold for me. Um, but I am quite intrigued by this product. So it says, apply at room temperature for a daily AM and PM moisturizer. Freeze for two to three hours and apply straight from the freezer to depuff and hydrate. It can be defrosted and refrozen and it will still return to its gel texture. Okay, I'm looking at the pile in front of me and I'm seeing quite a few tools. So I think we should touch on tools. Now, Manicare, um, they had four tools um, available at their stand that they were showing people and I thought we were going to get to take one away with us. And the one that I was most interested in was trying out one of these guys. It's a micro needle derma, derma roller. Now these have been around for ages and ages. Manicare are adding one to their range, or they have. Um, I've never tried them, but I'm ready. I'm ready to try them. It has sterilized surgical grade anti-slip gripper with the little roller thingy. It shows you how to use it. I, I was like, please may I have one of those? Uh, and they, they said, yes, of course you can. And then they proceeded to hand out every other tool that they uh, were showing at the Beauty Prescription Live, which was very generous of them. So they have added the um, Derma Soothe Massage Globe. Uh, it's meant to, you put it in the fridge, essentially. And um, it's a, look, I'll show you. Well packaged, there's like foam in there keep it safe which makes sense because it is glass look at how well that is packaged oh that's right so you can actually use it hot or cold um th which surprised me because it never occurred to me to use a product like this warm um she said basically what you do is you just dip it in some like a cup of hot water let it warm up and then you can use it uh, on your face or you can pop it in the fridge, get it nice and cold. And essentially you, you just roll it over your face. You use a serum to massage it in um, and it's good for like dealing with puffiness and stressed skin. I have, I think all of us have seen these come out on the market um, in recent times. I don't think many of us would be too surprised to see something like this tool. Um, I've never tried one. I am intrigued. They also had the Derma Smooth Fuzz Removers. It is a two pack of uh, face razors. <laughs> I've never tried these either. Um, and I've considered it and I think I will. I think, I think I'll give it a go. Um, I've spoken to a few people who do um, like the, the microplaning, uh, to remove like the peach fuzz from their face and they swear by it. And I, I've just, you know, I've thought, Meh, I don't need to, I'm curious. I am a bit worried that the hair would grow back, you know, a bit rough. Um, which I think, you know, that it's not an unusual, um, concern to have like if you shave your legs the hair you know you cut off the the soft smooth tip of the hair and it feels a bit rougher um so you know a little bit hesitant but i think i might give it a go if you guys have um tried face shaving essentially um let me know they also had this guy which is the contour roller set 
so this uh, visibly sculpts tones and tightens it has two attachments we're gonna open it it is also like it's battery operated so it vibrates Basically, it's a massaging rollerball for your face. I believe this attachment is for the eye area. Um, and I, I think it's meant to make me look 20 years younger, which I'm looking forward to because, you know, sure, I'd like to be 18 again. I, I would love that. I would... Actually, I wouldn't. I lie. I don't want to be 18 again, but um, I'd like to maybe look like I'm... At, maybe I don't want to look like I'm 18. But yes, we can visibly tighten the face. Uh, at least we can try to. So I'm intrigued to give that guy a go. Next up, we have the Finishing Touch Flawless Salon Nails uh, Manicure and Pedicure Tool. So this is basically an electric nail file. Um, there's a file, a smoother, a buffer, a polisher, a prep uh, attachment and an attachment for the cuticle. Similar to something you would see used in a salon, but this is like an at-home solution. I would say it wouldn't be as powerful as a salon tool. That would, that, it just wouldn't be. You need to be trained to use those um, items. And I will definitely give this a go, you guys know. I do my nails at home um so if this is a winner i'll be i'll be excited even if it's good for um like prepping the nail before i put my new um enhancements on which you know any help is good help glam by manicure had a tool which i was pretty excited about and i personally asked please may I have one of those um, and they said yes which was very nice of them this is the precision lash applicator the reason why I was quite excited about these is because they look fairly similar to my favorite pair of lash tweezers um, let me oh, they feel great um, where's my favorite pair of lash tweezers? I know they're here somewhere. Okay, here they are. So this is my favorite pair. This is from Model Rock. I don't think Model Rock sell this exact pair anymore. They sell a pair that is like a matte rubberized black pair and um, they're ever so slightly bigger on the tip, I believe. Um, and also they're not as, uh, easy to use essentially, or they're not as, um, you need more hand strength and I've got weak hands. So that's what I'm getting at. Now, the difference between these guys is one, these are thinner as you will be able to see. And you may also notice that these have ever, ever so slight curve to them. Um, but I think this pair will be fantastic for the job. The reason why I like lash tweezers like this is because when you are actually applying the lash, you come in from the side and you apply the lash. So um, you don't have anything in the way of your eyesight. The other ones that um, I see most commonly available um, you hold them like this and they have a little scoop that goes this way and you apply them like this um, but I always feel and this might just be based personally on you know my eye shape and the the mapping of my lashes whenever I'm trying to use those sort of lashes to apply fake lashes I always feel like my hand is in my face and or in my line of sight and I can't accurately see what I'm doing when I'm looking in the mirror so I really like um, these sorts of lash tweezers because your hand is completely out of the way the only thing that's in the way is the actual lash that you're applying and the tweezers and these are even thinner and you know more discreet I suppose than uh, the ones that I have used for years and years and love and adore so I'm very excited to try these guys out I'll let you know how they go they might become a new favorite um, Glam by Medicare did give us some lashes as well they usually do I have uh, the pre-glued lashes they're both from the natural range I have the Jasmine here and I have the Elsa here. 
these look really nice I'll definitely give them a go never upset to try out new lashes uh, from iLua they also sent us home with some lashes we have the uh, pre-glued fluttery light lashes number 117 which look like this and also the luxe velvet noir ooh, nightfall nightfall lashes which are these guys here and they come with a little tube of glue uh okay what's next is that all of the tools yes it is let's get into let's do some nail stuff essie okay so essie had their stall set up now how long has essie been in priceline because i don't know i don't think i've ever seen them there but i haven't been into a priceline for a while so you know let oh, give me a break um they had set up their stall in a way where you spun a wheel to like win your color basically now the, i spun the wheel and the color that i won is this beautiful mint green it is in the shade mint candy apple mint candy apple um i really like it that is something that i would wear i was quite happy with the shade that i had won however what i wanted to win and i went in i was like yeah i want i want to win this shade ballet slippers now this is a shade the queen wears <laughs> i love it i love it and i really wanted it and i was hoping i would win it um i didn't but they still gave it to me because they're sweet and wonderful lovely people so there we go i got uh ballet slippers and mint candy apple both gorgeous shades which i will definitely wear uh, there was this from a brand that I am unfamiliar with, uh, but I can tell you now it looked beautiful when I swatched it. This is from Kind. It's the Miracle Glow Skin Serum. This is in the shade Gold Blush. So this is, um, it's a liquid highlighter, a liquid illuminator, let's call it that. But it also contains vitamin C. There's also kakadu plum, kangaroo paw and vitamin E in there. So it's, uh, I, we've seen this, you know, coming from brands for quite a while. It is makeup with skincare benefits. Now I chose this shade. I was like, this is going to be too dark for me, but I, based on the, the shades available, there was like a pinky shade and then there was this shade. I thought this is going to be the one that best suits my undertones. So I opted for this one and I was pleasantly surprised as you can see, um, it, it's not it's not like a liquid highlighter where it's just like holy moly that is like shimmer coming out the wazoo it's very very subtle and it's like micro fine as well which is beautiful so i think that would be really nice on not only on the face maybe mixing it in with a little bit of foundation um i think it would be really nice on the body as well and it, it's not like sticky or like tacky on the skin or anything like that so I look forward to trying that out and seeing how it goes um, layered with makeup because that, for me, that's always the big test. Oh God, I didn't want this video to be an hour long. I swear we're almost done. Um, from Real Techniques, they have face mists. I have two here. So we've got the Satin Finish Blend Extender with Niacinamide and we have the Glow Finish Blend Extender with electrolytes i don't know why we need electrolytes in our makeup but i don't think we do but whatever you guys know i love a good face mist so I'll definitely give it a go um so there's two this one is uh designed to be more of a matte finish this one is more of a glowy finish so i'll definitely test them out you guys you guys know me love a good Love a good face mist. From Essence, they hooked us up with some mascaras. Now, I think anyone who has ever tried an Essence mascara or 12 uh, will know that some of their mascaras are absolutely outstanding. They give any 
other brand a run for their money um, this is a double trouble mascara they gave us two they gave us the waterproof version and the extra black version um, so it's supposed to offer definition and volume it's got it looks like it's got a weird wand can I can I show you that oh, we're too bright we're too bright um, it looks like it's got a sort of double-sided one yeah it does that's cool okay so this is like a traditional wand um, and then this one is like the the rubberized uh, more plasticky side of the wand can you see that that's cool I, I'm intrigued to try it and I will please let yes good I was gonna say please don't let me have opened the waterproof side the waterproof one I don't often use waterproof mascara but what I'll do is I'll try out this one if I absolutely love it then I will pop this one away for one of those rainy days where I do need a waterproof mascara because sometimes it happens uh, and the last two items that I have are both base products so I have the Max Factor Miracle Pure Skin Improving Foundation. So this is 24 hour hydration. Um, it contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and it has um, an SPF of 30. Now, I wouldn't be worried about the vitamin C in a product like this. It is like, oh, I love that tip. It's clear. I'm digging these clear tips. Yeah, I wouldn't be worried about the vitamin C that's in this because it would likely be um, too low of concentration to cause me any issues. Now, uh, from what I could tell, this was a very sheer um, sort of tint. Here comes a doggo. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, no. Don't knock things over. Hello. So this definitely appears to be a sheerer tint. Um, and I did notice, uh, I got the last of the 70 warm sand. They were, they were legends. They went through everything and they're like, oh my God, last one. Um, I am a little concerned. It might be a little bit dark for me, but the next, like the shades down, um, weren't quite right. However, it might be nice for me in summer. So we'll see how we go. I'll play around with it. I, I never really know how something's going to be until it's on my face these days. And then Astralis. This is a fresh and flawless skin tint with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and an SPF of 15. Now, um, the, the lady at the counter, she was like, Hayley, I know you've got dry skin. This might not might not be your fave um but obviously i get to try it out anyway i'll see how i go with it this is definitely a thicker consistency um and it has more coverage but also it it does have dry down um oh i quite like the finish of that actually I'll just have to see how it goes on my face. What can I say? I can't swatch something on the back of my hand and be like, yep, that's gonna work or no, it's not gonna work. I just, I won't know until I put it on my face. So I'll see how I go and I will report back. I'm gonna um, try and do some like, you know, monthly beauty recaps so I can touch on the products that I have been testing out, what I love, what I've gotten along well with and look, what maybe maybe the things that i haven't gotten along so well with um if you've seen any of these goodies in priceline and you've picked them up and tried them for yourself let me know what you think down in the comment section or did i mention something you haven't seen yet but you're intrigued to try let me know all of the things um apparently priceline will be doing another one in september and i would like to go I, I think if we are invited back, I might go. It was just so nice to see everyone. Um, and it felt like, felt like normal times. And it was just nice. It was really nice. So thank you so much to Priceline for having us. And thank you to all of the brands who are so insanely generous. Um, I feel like a kid in a candy store. I really do. I'm excited to dig into everything. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Love you very much. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.